Coming up in the introspect room. What's the most wow. diabolical oh, story man. you've yeah, ever what's heard? The diabolical? Yeah, what's like the where, where like thing? you oh, almost man. like lost your place <laughs> in the conversation. You weren't sure if you were gonna put it out. Oh well, I can't put uh, uh, what episode? I forgot the episode, but it was like the worst things in the world that was happening. Like he sent her father her nudes, and no! oh, and she still, <laughs> she's still and she was she was uh I think she's Pakistani or she's Muslim. She's bruh, Muslim, so you know bruh. that's like, bro, you can't see God. nobody naked, bro. Muslim. And he sent her father her nudes, and the mother had to like step in, get the phone, delete it, and she still kept them. I was shocked. She stayed with him. Stayed with him. Still, still kept him around. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back hey. to, to the Introspect Room. What's up, everybody? Thank you for, for checking in one more time. One more is it just one more time or is one plenty more, more time. times? Well, you sound like you, you you're doing a jazz album. One more time. <laughs> one more again. One more one again. More. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Jeff Demise. I am Michelangelo Garland. And this is the Introspect Room, where you can learn a lot about yourself through conversations with other people. Man, do we have a special guest today. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm excited. We got, we got something special for you today. You, you sure. sound like you're really about to play a jazz album right now. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, we got, we got something really special. <laughs> this is straight off the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um <laughs> The fourth episode of the day. <laughs> there we go. Um, damn, we we've, we've been drinking a lot, so don't mind. Don't it's mind. Been a day. It's been a day. I don't want. I don't want my mom. Productive to drink. Day. My mom thinks. Very you know, my mom day. thinks I'm an alcoholic. Does she? Yeah. Every time hey, she comes, mom. You're right. No. <laughs> no. I've been here all day. This guy. No, 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 no. You know what it is? Because she comes to my house, right? right? And she often, she sees that I have a liquor collection, but a lot of people don't know is I. I throw parties, right? And people bring booze, they bring beer, they bring, you know, liquor and stuff like that. And it's left over for sure. other people to drink. Yeah. Right? No, I, I, I noticed that. You right. Always got new bottles. New bottles. That means I had an event. <laughs> right? So then when she comes in, she's like, oh, Pippi, why you do that? I'm like, mom, I'm not, I'm not an alcoholic. She's like, I didn't raise you to be. Oh, my God. Here we go. Anyway, she thinks I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> There you go. All right, so, well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we we want we want to let our our guests introduce oh. himself. Like he's he's here, he's ready to party. You see, he just, he's ready to he party. jumped in, he jumped in, ready to go. <laughs> um, my man, Llama, Llama is on the platform with us. What's going on, Llama? Thank Talk you for to having him. me, man. Thank you, thank for, you for coming, me. man. Thank you for coming. Um, thank you for coming. I'm ready for the conversation, sure. y'all. Uh, hey, professional in here. Uh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> At least we look professional. <laughs> At least we look we professional. Look yeah, yeah, we look definitely. definitely. We look the part. So talk to me, Lama. Give it. Give us a quick introduction to yourself, your platform, and what you're doing out here. Well, I go by the name Lama. Uh, I'm a DJ, producer, podcast, podcaster. Um, been doing it for a while. My first love is music, and from there, it's just taking me to other places. So yeah. once you know music, once you know the 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 format of it, yeah, everything becomes easy after that. So, yeah, mm. yeah, it led me into podcasting. So let's talk about your podcast, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons why we have you here is your podcast is ear catching. <laughs> ear catching. Ear catching. All right, all right. It's provocative. Like provocative <laughs> is a good word. Provocative. provocative is a great word. Um, <laughs> so Llama has a podcast. What's the name of the podcast? It's called Views of an X. Views of an X. Views of an X. Yes. Views of an X. I just want to make sure I said it right. Yeah. So views of an X. So yeah. give a, give the audience an explanation of what this podcast is about okay. and how and why you started it. All right. Give so us a brief info. How and why I started it. I got my heart broken. So I had oh. a, I had an ex that I felt like I was going to marry. Mm -hmm. like you just know, all right, this girl has me like head over heels. So right. I felt that with this woman and I messed it up. Can you curse on here? Huh? Yeah. He, oh, I was gonna say I fucked I it mean, up. Basically, uh, just keep it light. Keep it, <laughs> I gotta keep it light. But uh, yeah, I really messed up that relationship, and it was no right. coming back. 
Okay. And I tried to get help. I went to therapy. I went to Google. I went to YouTube to try to just get answers on how to get your ex back and how to heal from okay. the heartbreak. Okay. And I was getting nothing. It was nothing coming to me. So I was like, all right, I want to get back into podcasting, but I need something different. Everybody's doing a Joe Budden type podcast. Everybody's doing, you know, the, the typical yeah. talk about social media, talk about right. uh, entertainment. I didn't want to do that. So I was like, maybe I should start a podcast interviewing other people how they dealt with their heartbreak. Mm-hmm. So uh, it came that way. It came naturally. And then ideas, is, ideas started flowing. Like, I was writing stuff down. Show some of my friends that listen to podcasts. They was like, "This is a bit messy, but I like it." And yeah, and, and, I, and that's there. one of the things that I actually love about your podcast mm-hmm. is, and it's it's great to hear from you that you put that much thought into it. Yeah, yeah, because it's so specific yeah. that you can't help but like if and everybody listening, if you you should definitely go check it out. Yeah, you're gonna have to listen. To yes. a full episode all the way through. Yeah, yes, it's yes. not one of those. It's like a movie. It's not one of those podcasts you just you could turn on and like check in, check out. You want to hear the whole story. Yes, yes. Yeah. So start off a little light. It's like you 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 cruising, right? And then you get to that where the relationship went downhill, right? And that's where everything you you hear the mess. And, and personally, why do you think that it is so? As Jeff said, ear catching. Because um, we all go through heartbreak, so we all. We, I don't know if y'all had a heartbreak or whatever, but we all go through breakups or stuff like that. And people feel like they're alone sometimes yeah. in mm-hmm. that in that breakup. So to hear other people going through mess and going through rocky road relationships, it makes the person it makes it relatable to a lot of people. So right. Like, yeah. That's like, what it man, is. I thought my it's situation yeah. was bad, but this guy, so it's such and such. And then you can see the at name. I put the at name as they name. Right. So you can go to their page and look at their page and look at them. And see how that person look. Got it's, it, got it's, it, got yeah. it, got it. So ultimately, people come on your podcast and basically um, talk dirt on the ex. Not, I, I try not to make it dirty. <laughs> it's it's but actually therapeutic. Yes, you think yes, about it. you're, you're yes. more like a therapist in a sense. Therapist. Do, yeah. do you feel? Do you feel like you're giving people therapy through yeah, conversations they, about their ex? They're getting their stuff off. It's like sometimes it'd be their first time talking about the story. Oh, and they be like, "Man, I felt good to get that out." Right, and it's like a release for them. Yeah, but how did so you started it because of like I wanted to hear other people's view on how they got through their heartbreak. Understood. I, I was suffering. I was I was going through it. Mm. I kept doing all the wrong. So I went on YouTube and it was like ways to get your ex back. Mm. And it was like you can't message them for for this amount of days. And I already messed up. I was like, see, I can't I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. I already messed up. He sent the Raven. <laughs> yeah. So it oh, was bro, like you had the whole checklist. Yeah, like, yeah. And, I yeah. Did that. I and it was it. like wow. if you already did this, scratch this. Try this one. And it was like steps on how to try to get your ex back. Right. I, I failed everything. None of it worked? None, none of it worked. Wow. None of All it right, worked. All right, so what, what were some of the, the most like imaginative, creative things that you, you found in just oh, that specific part? Um, like, to get your ex back? Your ex back cause I, that's, I'm sure that's another thing that most of us. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would tell you the no contact rule works because right. they say like 21 days, don't contact them. And they may start wondering about you. Like, Absence did he die? Did he kill himself? Yeah. yeah, it's like all types of stuff. That the woman, it works for women. Uh, or it works. It, it could work for anybody, but that twenty-one day no contact rule that kind of mm. works. But I I got to like fourteen days, and I was like, I want to text. Dying. I want to te- like. Oh, I, I was itching, and I messed it up. I got to like eighteen, and I was like, I got to text. Does so, your ex know you went through this process? Yeah, we actually caught up with each other right before the pandemic, right. and I told her everything that I was going through. She seen the change in me, but I really messed up that bad, and her family was involved, so. She didn't want to take me back because oh, of what wow. her mother made wow. me think. Yeah. Wait, and give us some context. How many years ago was this? Oh, yeah. man, 2018? Yeah. Okay, so it was fairly recent. Uh, summertime, well, the situation happened, Essence Fest, uh, 2018. And then wow. we went to New Orleans, yeah. And then we broke up in September 2018. So we tried to make it work, and it didn't work. So, so, so my question is, you started this because you wanted to... To heal, heal from, from it, it. Yeah. and you wanted to kind of find ways to get over yeah. your ex, but you're saying that like a lot of people want to get this stuff off the, their chest because it's therapeutic for them. For them, so for me, you hearing through their story is it therapeutic for yes, you? Because I'm learning new things, I'm learning learn new tactics and tactics. They're yeah, tactics, man. Yes, uh, this one episode for coping or tap, for coping for or just uh, going through your problems. So this is one tactic called the brain dump. You open your voice note in the in the phone and you just rant into it. Okay. And then when you calm down, you play it back. And you can hear how silly you sound and how, like, it's ah. like, it's like uh, your friend ranting to you. And you're like, yeah. yo, they sound crazy. Wait, they so, don't know uh, how. So you rant 
just into your to, phone. Like if you're like angry, you're talking to the, the ex phone. or just no, no, to you're yourself. talking to your phone. Oh, basically, I know, your own about thoughts, what? your own thoughts, your thoughts. Yeah. So if wow. let's say you go through something right, at work and you're like, my my effing boss, I like I hate my boss. Da, 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 you rant into your phone, right? And then you let like two hours pass. You calm down, listen to it, and you're like, yeah, I said I shouldn't be. Like, my boss shouldn't get me this. This, this mad Yeah right. It sounds yeah, like, crazy Yeah 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 So that's called The brain dump And okay. I learned that From my podcast uh, uh, One of my uh, uh, Guests Said this is what I do This is what my therapist Taught me to do mm. Brain dump If I feel angry If I feel anything Just rant into my phone uh, Well that, What's fascinating <laughs> that About that Besides the, Just the exercise mm-hmm. Is the fact that The person who told you that Said they got that From the therapist Yep That is super interesting. And I wonder through this experience, have you spoken to a lot of people who, that have actually gone through therapy? Yeah. Have you yourself thought about I, I went I I try to date it's like dating the ther- like ther- therapist. I went through like mm. four therapists and okay. none of them worked. You said you dated four therapists? It's like going on dates. So it's like you're trying to find the right girl. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to find the right therapist. The right it's like, therapist is like dating. But I was spending money and it was like these people were just sitting there letting me talk, right. not really giving no input. And just try to offer me meds. And I'm like, I don't need what? medicine. Yo. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to offer you meds? Yeah. Oh, man. So You okay. know what's crazy about what you just said? I had that same exact yeah. experience at the beginning of this year. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I went, I don't want to say I went through a, okay, I went through a breakup-ish. Yeah. Ish. I didn't even know this. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah, look. This. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I went through a breakup-ish. Like, it was my choice. Right. But at the same time, I knew I was letting go of somebody that potentially was good for me, but I had was my reasons. Was it really your choice? What? Was it really your choice? Listen to me. It was my choice. Okay. All right. You didn't even know the story. How are you going to ask me That's this question? why. And again, <laughs> you, you, the fact you didn't tell the story, I'm just asking questions. It was my choice. Okay. Right. Um, and, you know, I was kind of messed up in the head about it just a little bit, but not. But because it was my choice, it was easier for me to, like, get over it. But at the same time, I wanted to, like, just check in and yeah. kind of learn a lot of things about myself. Not just for that relationship, but just in general, in just general. like a, a yeah, check-in. That's good. So I went through, uh, like, four therapists trying to figure out which one was going to work for me. But I just felt like I was paying people per hour to mm-hmm. be my friend. Yeah. When in reality, a lot of the, the things that they would say to me wouldn't be, like, it wouldn't direct. Help. It wouldn't help at all. <laughs> they, they, like, I'll, I'll have an, a, an issue that I want to discuss, and I'll be like, yo, what do you think I should do about that? And they're like, what do you think you should do? I'm like, look here, man. This ain't it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know? And I left. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was one dude that just kept worried about the payments. I'm like, yo. He was like, oh, you want to get the payment done right now? And then we start? I'm like, no, that's a problem. Saying, man, I had yeah, to leave. No. That's a but problem. for you, I think because you hurt that person, it hurt you. Type yeah. Of thing. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. That happens all the time in my podcast. So mm. a lot of guys, it comes from a lot of guys. It's like, yeah, I had to let her go. I know she was good, but, and that ended up making me cry. That ended up making, I was like, man. Why do you think guys wow. let women go that they think is good? Because they want to do they, they, they want to do they, they stuff, I'll man. They wanna, yeah, they want to be free. I'll be free. Yeah. yeah. Actually, why'd you let her go? Damn! <laughs> like, you're, you're in that category. So tell us. Why, a lot of the guys want to be free. But. I should never ask that question. You know what it was? God, I can't believe I'm saying this on Damn, you want to see? Bro, see, now you know, we, now we I know, know, five, now right, know how to now guess me or whatever. Yeah. You, know, okay, you, okay. you never said, shared this, and uh, this is like important information. All right. So, I mean, I don't know if she listens to this. I don't know if we know <laughs> who we're talking about. So, here's the deal, right? Like, I've always struggled to find women that had qualities in the main categories of things that matter to me all, right. all at once. Yeah. Right? And. When you find somebody that that has a, a, a fraction of what you want, but a lot of it, mm-hmm. a lot of the, those portions of what you want, you hang on to it because it's a quality that is still useful to you. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. But then in the back of your mind, you're like, I can still make I can make it work, even though on this area it's it's not what I like. But everything else is so strong. Mm. You've never felt this strength in these qualities right, in right. any other person. It would be stupid not to at least experience those qualities that you've never really had right. in anybody else. And maybe I can forego the other stuff that my, I might think may not be as important. Yeah, yeah. And be like, and I'll just muscle through it. Yeah. And I muscled through it for some time. And then I got to a point where I just I just couldn't. But why though? Yeah, like 
Because and can you give it? Give an example. Give it. Give it around the bush. Yo, all right, all right. Like I'm not being specific. All right, let me be specific. All right, so here's the deal, right? Fairy tales. Stop, stop. So she wasn't really what I wanted physically. Now keep in mind, if I show you a picture of this woman, but that's mm-hmm. that's just your. Yeah. That's just my. Pre- but yeah. I'm just saying, if I show you a picture of her, the average person be like, "Yo, she's gorgeous." Yeah, but that's for you. Okay. Like, yeah, there's some people I don't like. People be like, "Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous," but I don't. Yeah, like they, they didn't do they didn't do it for me. Yeah. right. But she had all these other qualities. I was just like, "Yo, she she could be a good teammate." Yeah, mm-hmm. like for long term. And so what do you mean? Like again, to spe- specific in terms of what? Like the things that she had, the qualities she had that were. That you saw as like- yo, all right. So my 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 love language is acts of service. Okay. All right, okay. Yeah. She's the type of person where she look out for you crazy. Like she, you need help with this, she help you with that. You you, you um uh um if you if you're not eating right, she makes sure she, your diet oh, so pops. She was she like she was yo, you're not that. in the gym. Yeah. I need you in the gym. More. Like I need you. You know, and I'm a hard on myself. And she was like that. She was yo. Psh, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like she was good with like. Um, like I'm good with finances, but she's good with like stocks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So she would tell me what to do with my stocks, and I, and then I made like a certain amount of money, you know, using her. Using and, her. and I was just like, wow. this this person, you know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy to think. She's like, a good homegirl, but physically she just wasn't. And yeah, that, and yeah, that's, that's and the that's, thing. And that's yeah. the craziness. Like yeah. you. Anyway, I, and I, you and, can't and, force yourself to be with someone if you don't. If something lacks, it just that's the problem. Yeah, man. Right. If that thing that lacks is that important. Yeah, to you, yeah that's. I, and, and I try to tell myself it's not that important. It's not that important. Focus on. Nah, you can't. You do know what I'm saying? And I found myself, and I found myself looking at other women because <laughs> of it. She caught me looking at other women too. But that's not the point. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> anyway, happens, so evolution, man. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, and and I never and I never like stepped out on her or anything like that. I didn't do any of that. It's just. The urge was too strong when I wasn't physically yeah. satisfied. Huh. You know what I'm that saying? Happens. That happens. That was crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, I can't believe y'all got me to say that. Up. She, look, we're, welcome to Views of the Next, coming. man. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the podcast? Oh, man. You, yeah. About to have to do some cross promotion. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was basically uh, my experience because, I don't know, it was tough. Yeah. Yeah, man. But so, yeah. So, I get people like that all the time. It'd be my first time meeting them and they just open up. I don't right. know. Just something about me. I just get people to just, just talk. But do you yeah, feel as though that. like people talk because there's something specific you do to get them to talk, or do you feel like this subject is something that people yearn yeah. to talk about? Yeah, yeah. It's like something brand new to them. So sometimes people don't open up at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they see. I, I approach them about the podcast and I tell them what it's about. They think about it. I'm like, you know what? I'll try it. And it'll be like, first. I like get on a roller coaster. Mm-hmm. It's like you never got on, and, you, and then I put you in the front. And then you get on there, you be like, ah, oh, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that. So. Yeah, until, <laughs> until their ex and finds out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, happens, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Does that happen yeah, a, lot, a lot? Where the ex yeah. finds out and they're yeah. like, they, they, don't, they, they don't hit you up and say, hey, ex, I want to tell my story. Yeah, one. I have one episode yeah, like that's that. That's true. I have one episode like that. And then the, 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 the first guest didn't care. She was like, yeah, go go interview him. I was like, because okay. I always ask that question too sometimes. Like, if the ex was to do a podcast with me, what would they say about you? And they'd be mm. like, oh, I don't know, question. you got to ask them. And then they'd be like, oh, here's his at, this is, and I, I reached out to them. But I only had one episode like that where it was the woman first, and then the man told his story uh, later on. Okay. Was, it, was it congruent? It was, all right, so everybody hated the guy when she told her story. Right. And when he came on, she forgot a lot of things. Like, they was married. She, didn't, she left that out. And then people hated her when he told his story. So she, she painted. A, she painted him as a bad that's, guy. She painted, Yo, that's the, that, yeah. that's why I wanted to ask that question. Yeah, because I almost feel like that's like another layer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. your show's already brilliant. Yeah, but another layer would be like if you seek out. I wanted to dedicate ex, a month. Of you just have to both. get the other story yeah. because you already know, especially talking to these people. Like, yeah, there's two sides to a three story. sides. Three, their their sides, up. and then the, the, you figure yes. out the truth from hearing both sides. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so. I feel yeah. like that's that's the missing part that, you know, I was listening to some of the podcasts, and you know when I hear people talk about their exes, mm-hmm. they always talk about the things that matter to them. Yeah, they don't talk about the things that matter to their ex that could have contributed to why it didn't work. Yeah, right. But I do ask that question too, like how did you contribute to the downfall of, of the relationship? Oh, and they'll really? say boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and then it'll come out with that question. Wow. 
Well, so what would you say? How did you uh, contribute did to you the contribute downfall? I just told you. I just told you. I literally just told you what <laughs> contributed. It was something about him. <laughs> no, from, from her point of view, what would you? What, what would she have said? Is is the her contribution to the downfall? No, your like. What would she? So that's what you think. Your you think your contribution to the downfall was all right. I didn't find her physically attractive, and I started looking out in other directions. She might have seen a few of those things. Hopefully not, but maybe. What do you think she would say? No, but he ended it. So yeah. she was on to him. She was she she liked him. Clearly. Lava, like, then, like like he like ended you it. Said, so he he he's there's he, three sides to every story. <laughs> right, right. So we're hearing Jeff's side right now. I don't yeah. I'm trying to figure out what side you're no, no, no. Like, not hearing. I don't understand. Let's say I I would ask that question oh. if that other person ended is, it. Uh, at, Mostly right. if the other person ends it, it's like, all right, how did you contribute? Because they can complain right. all day. Yeah, this happened, this happened. But how did you con- contribute to the right. downfall? Now he's telling you like he ended it because yes. of this. Yeah. So yeah, is 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 just fault. He's definitely telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely telling. The yeah, truth. it's just fault. I, so I mean, we all well, got we all we all got those homies. Like I'm not saying you're you're actually okay. I, I'm I'm messing with him. I'm messing with you. Obviously, <laughs> you're, you're like a solid straight shooter. Nah, but like I have a couple friends yeah. who they'll tell you, especially, and you can always tell. It's like a a certain type of a, a personality and a pattern that they have with their relationships. Right. right. So I have. A couple friends. I'm not going to, I don't want to put anybody out there because people listen to this. Oh, yeah. Use a fake but, name. <laughs> right. <laughs> the dude is always in and out of relationships. Very, you know, attractive dude. Has his stuff pretty much together. Gotcha. But, like, you already know how the situations are going to end when Given they start. The, okay. When they start because how they the start? same. The, the, the relationships always start with, like, just all this, the like, sparks and High energy, the honeymoon everybody. stage, yeah. right, honeymoon right, right. Stage. But it always towards the end turns into literally same story. Well, she did. It's never well. I and that's mm-hmm. why I appreciate about you right yeah. now. You're like I it, that that's showing. Oh that yeah, you know I'm, what you did. Yeah. He, yeah, his, his shit is always hey, she this she was coming at me like this. She oh, couldn't, nah. yeah. and it's like. He has some issues every man. time. Yeah, he has literally some issues. for the last like seven, eight years, every relationship. Yeah, like, yeah, never gets past the year and a half mark. Oh yeah, so he likes the honeymoon stage, basically. Yeah, yeah, he's addicted to the honeymoon stage. But if he were to sit here and tell us his story, it would you be would believe everything he's saying. Like, oh yeah, but then you go to and the reason I found this out is because we were connected to, like, we ended up becoming friends with the person he was with. Yeah, yeah. a couple years ago. Yeah. If I hadn't, I would have never heard her side of the story. And it's like, wait a minute, what? And mm-hmm. this is the homie. And he's lying to all of us about <laughs> what it is. And it's yeah. not, it might not even be that he's lying. Maybe that's just how he sees it. Yeah, yeah, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Play the victim. He's, he's playing victim. Yeah. That's what it is. So, so given that you have spoken to a plethora of people. Yeah. What do you think you're doing different? I don't. Are you dating now? Or are you in a relationship? I'm dating. Yeah, I'm you're dating. dating. Yeah. So, given what you went through and what you hear other people go through, yeah, does that give you a good feeling about your your potential next relationship? Yeah, because a lot of the people I interview, they lack communication. Some mm. things could be so simple if they communicate it. So I had to implement that in my life, and yeah, because I, I sucked at it. And, and you recognize that through your conversation yeah. with other people, yeah. AKA wow. the introspect yes. room, the, yeah, the room where you can learn about yourself so, through conversations. With they other sitting people. there telling the <laughs> story, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, if you would have just said something, oh yeah, but I, I always hold things in. Oh, it, it's, it's always something like but that. Who's usually holding stuff in? The men. The men. The men are yeah. always holding stuff yeah. in. Yeah, the men. They I'm not gonna lie, I kind of held that in too. <laughs> <laughs> I held that in. I and held that you, in. You the just, woman you just said this now. Like, you, I know, but I'm just because I was like, do it the men? I was like, yeah. 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 The women are more patient yeah. and they just keep taking on stuff, taking on things, taking on things, and they'll communicate. But once they clock out, that's they'll still be in a relationship, but they clock out. Oh, yeah, they clock yeah, women yeah, break up man. with you before the breakup. Yeah. They say Long before done, the breakup. The, yeah, yeah. They say it's done months before. But the guys don't like to communicate. Ends. They just feel like you should understand them. Some women are like that, but the, mostly wait, men. Like, oh, okay. That's the part that I didn't, I, I wasn't prepared to hear. Yeah, mostly men is like. They should know. Wait, men are saying she should know? Yeah. What? I usually hear that from women. Yeah, but men men are like that. Men, they don't like to, to say, oh, I'm feeling this way. Right. I don't want to speak right now. They'll just say something else. Like, No, I, I get that part. Yeah, yeah, I agree yeah. with that part. The part about where the men are saying she should know. 
it goes both ways, but men that, 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 that lack communication, they feel like their partner should know them to know when they're mad, when they're hungry, when, See, like, and then it becomes a problem. I'm so yeah. glad that you you have that like, yeah, yeah. to share with us. Yeah. Because here we this go. Is what I've been trying well, to tell you, nah, here we go. you can't say here we that go. At, like all men or most men think this way. It's just like maybe no, in no. your circle, that's all you've seen. But that's what I'm, yeah. but that's all I'm communicating. Like, 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 right. here's, a, here's an example, right? You play, you play video games? Used to. All right. So you, you on, you're online, right? Okay. Now, if your woman comes into the room, she don't know that you're online and you can't pause it. She's just talking to you like da da da, and you're not telling her I'm online. I can't pause it. You expect her to know that like, when I'm playing this game, I'm online. I can't pause it. And me personally, no, so I would. Analogy. I wouldn't feel like a that. lot of guys That's a really like that. Good yeah, it's like no. when playing 2K. You, the girl would know that you're playing 2K, but they don't know if you're playing online, offline. The guy won't communicate because he's so. I I I, I hear you and yeah, I agree yeah. with you from that point of view of other people. But if you were to ask me if I was in that situation, yeah, I I'm. I'm at a point in my life, not necessarily as of late, but even before, where I try to communicate as much as but I can. But you had can. to learn that. You had to learn that. I did. Yeah, I yeah. had to learn it. It yeah. took maturity. Yeah. Right? Um, but I'm also a little bit more bold than most people, and I'm, and I, and I'm not afraid of the smoke. Mm -hmm. Right? So I will tell somebody, sometimes to my detriment, I'll say, like, yo, this is what it is. Yeah. Like, if I'm doing something and it's a problem, I, I'll take the L for that one time, but I'm like, yo, listen. Yeah. I, I really didn't like X, Y, and Z. It took maturity for me to communicate that way. I agree. Yeah. But again, in my experience, a lot of women I've spoken to, dated, as well as just had, you know, miscellaneous conversations with, they always talk about how they're afraid to speak that's, their mind on something. That's true. And then they always yeah. say like, I don't know why he he didn't, he couldn't tell. I was giving hints. Well, how, all long this other is, stuff. how long were you in those relationships? Yeah. If you with somebody for a long time, y'all should, should be able to, like like fill each other out. Now if this is if it's a, like in a honeymoon stage, okay. then you're gonna get that probably. Like and he, yeah yeah he should. Know I, I'm I'm curious at like what you think about the the honeymoon stage in terms of length, right? Yeah. Because you've spoken to so many different people. Yeah. It's always I, like a year. A year. Yeah. A year, like a year, year and a half. Yeah. After that, that's when you start to see the real like yeah, the layers person. come back, and you're like, all right, this is who this person. Really thing I is. think about moving in with each other, that argument happens. Like it's, it's different things that end that honeymoon and stage. And it's, it's hard to make it in a relationship yeah. past that point and when you get past that point yeah. that's when you've actually been in a relationship that's yeah. how i feel so when you talk to these people on your podcast mm -hmm. who in my opinion they basically talk trash about the ex that's just my opinion <laughs> um you know when yeah. when when you hear them is there like a common time length of nah, the relationship it, it varies it's all, yeah it's all different yeah, all varies yeah Nah, I can't even say that. Wow. Some some are six months and they be the most traumatic relationship. Really? Some are twelve years, fifteen years, yeah. What's the most wow. diabolical oh, story man. you've yeah, ever what's heard? The diabolical? Craziest? Yeah, what's like the where, where like oh, you man. almost like lost your place <laughs> you in the conversation. You weren't sure if you were gonna put it out. Oh. <laughs> well, I can't put uh, uh, what episode I forgot the episode. But it was like the worst things in the world that was happening. Like he sent her father her nudes and no! Oh, and she still, <laughs> she's, and she was, she was, uh, I think she's Pakistani or she's Muslim. She's bro, Muslim. So you know, bro. that's like, bro, you can't see God. nobody naked. Bro. Muslim. And he sent her father, her nudes and the mother had to like step in, get the phone, delete it. And she still kept him. I was shocked. She stayed with him. I stayed with him. Still, still kept him around. Wow. So wait, in that in that situation, what ended up? I forgot. That's if a that long didn't break it up, she <laughs> She yeah. didn't break up with him after that. I forgot. But he ended up hearing the episode and couldn't believe that she felt the way she felt. It was crazy. Yeah. What do you mean he couldn't believe he it? Yeah, he did. Yeah, get him he on the show. <laughs> he was get him on this show. Put him. Yo, <laughs> what's he his, did a whole I, bunch of things. I'm just shocked because it's my first time speaking to her. Right. So I was like, all right. I was getting ready after he sent the father the news. I'm like, all right. So you left him at. She was like. I did not leave him. I'm like, I had to like, yo, I, I was shocked. I was shocked. Hmm. But she, it was like thing after thing. He kept cheating on her. Had a whole baby on her. Like, Dang. A whole bunch of things. I was she, that was, that was she a young? long relationship? Well, how she old was, was she? Like in her 20s. And that was how, a long how, relationship. How, like huh? she, they were together for years. For years. For like at least seven, eight years. Yeah. What? Wait, wait. When you say in 20s, early 20s? Like, like mid, mid 20s. She like recently left him in her 30s. Like, like 30, 31. In her oh, she left yeah, him. Yeah, it was from, 
early 20, like 23, all the way to like. That's why. That's yeah. why. She got dignitized early. I don't know what it was, but. And then, yeah. Man. And she, wow. was, she was Muslim. Yeah. And I was like, no way. Like, but I think wait, also, was he also. Was he also Muslim? No, he was black. I think, so. I think also there could be a possibility that culturally, like, she's not really taught to leave and speak. No, this girl was beautiful. Like, she she get any man she want. No, she I, just. There are certain cultures that yeah. there are certain yeah. cultures. I don't want to say that's her, but I've, 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 I've. No, but if the parents and friends right. are saying, like, get rid of him and you're not getting rid of him, that's something within you. Right. Okay, then that's a yeah, good point. Yeah, 100%. That's yeah, a good so point. That's, that's nothing you can do that's, about that. That's, that's crazy. Like, it's not even but she, at she that admits point, that she else. suffered from, like, some. I forgot. I, it was a long time ago. It was like a year ago. Yeah. But she has a, she has a lot of other yeah, things that she yeah, needs to insecurities, explore yeah. yeah. Beautiful woman, but she suffered from a lot of, like, insecurities and, and other things. Yeah. Who tells, the, be, who tells the best stories? Men or Dude, women? It's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie. <laughs> I would say. The men, the men. Well, this year, the men, last year was the women. Wow. So this okay. year, the, Season the men. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so I have, what, 63, 64 episodes? The men has been killing it for 2021. Okay. And then the women, 2020, 2019, 2020. So what's the definition of the men killing it? Like, what does that mean? It's the details. Like, I had one guy who was like a, a drug dealer, and he's like, yeah, I had to shoot him up. And it was like very, like a what? movie. Yo, <laughs> Yo it, was a, it was a part in, the, in, the, in an episode where... Uh, he said he told he told his girlfriend that he's going to see his baby mom. She ain't like that. He go see his baby mom. He think he's still having sex with her. So he, she was mad, so mad. They driving, and she just jumped out the car. And he said the chick was rolling down the block. And he was like, I had drugs on me. I wanted to go get her, but I had my gun and had my drugs. And cops was coming, oh so I, I had to leave her. So it was like it was like a movie. Wow. They had a whole shootout scene, and yeah, man. Wait, hold wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. Who do you have a shootout? Who with? Who do you have a shootout with? It was drug dealers or uh, uh, whoever wanted to. To kill him. He was a. He was a. Uh, oh wait, uh, wait, she tucked it. Wait, she tucked and rolled because of a shootout. No, no, no. no. It's a whole no, two she, different she, scenes. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, in the episode, okay. it was like they I had a it was shootout. The same scene. I was I like, like, what is this? Fast and Furious yeah. Twelve. Like yeah. my baby mama. Oh Hold damn, up. they shooting. Yeah, and then another scene, she jumped out the car. Another wow. scene, it was like fight. Crazy man. It was crazy. Yeah. So yeah, man. It was uh, episode fifty eight with, yeah. with Tahoe TV. One of the best stories on my podcast. I, I, I swear. And Yo, just, that's crazy. You got to check that out. Views of an X, episode 58. Yeah. Views TV. of an X. And he's a big <laughs> podcaster as well. So he, he, having him on my podcast really helped boost my podcast. So mm. the story was amazing. That's wild sure, to me. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to imagine me. You know, I was going to say the dumbest thing just now. I was like, trying to imagine me going on the podcast, talking like, about my ex. The, I literally just did I mean, that. Just did it but that was an X or just a little fling? See, I always <laughs> ask for the most traumatic relationship. Like the one that changed you and oh you yeah, to find yourself again, you know. So so Michelangelo, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh, here go the jazz voice. Oh, yeah, so 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 we're gonna do we're gonna do a views of an ex with Michelangelo right. since I did one, right? So Michelangelo. <laughs> now I met you still with the same. Oh one? yeah. All right, I met her. That's, that's now this has got to be prior. Prior, give it. So yeah. if I was to interview you, it would be like, how did you go from? Like where you at now? Like right. you had to come from somewhere. So what was that traumatic relationship that, that changed, changed you as a person and me as a led person. you into the relationship you in today? So, all right, I would have to say, and I'm I'm gonna keep this. You gotta give a fake name. Brief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, but only because you're gonna keep I'll it come brief. on the show later, yeah. and we could talk. We could get into the details. Oh, but you won't do it on this show. What I, what I, I mean, this is about llama. This is about llama. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> So I, w- I want to preface this with I, I truly believe that men don't become men until you've gone through mm-hmm. that type of traumatic experience yeah. in a relationship. Right. Like, yeah. I think until you understand what suffering feels like, you actually can't. You can't reach your your full potential in terms of your personal mm-hmm. evolution. Right. Yeah. Um, so. I was pretty safe when it comes to like when it came to dating Mm -hmm. people most of my life. Like, what do you mean safe? Like, explain that. Like, I would, I would be the one that too. (laughs) But but, I mean, I would leave relationships. All right. right? Like, I, I wasn't. I didn't. 
I don't think I got broken up with very often. Same here. In my entire life. I would I would always same lose interest yeah. or feel like maybe they were losing interest and be like, all right, maybe it's just better to cut cut my losses yeah. now. Fair. Right? To save myself some kind of break up with him before he done. Right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm not gonna say like I'm not gonna give timelines or anything like that. But essentially the relationship that changed me was the one that I stuck around in and pushed through that uncomfortable like uncomfortability mm-hmm. to try to make it work yeah. and it didn't work. So after that I yeah. felt and there's there's a lot to this bruised there's a lot ego? of crazy yeah. to, in, in involved in this story like a lot of crazy. That's a good things. question. Was that yeah. a bruise to your ego? Is that why it was? I, I think I think it's a bruise to, to yeah. all of our egos, like right? That's why we try to yeah. that's why we try to dodge it because we don't want. I didn't dodge it for that back. reason. I dodged. Oh, well, I didn't. This, I, I, that just took a turn. Why did no, Why does it come back to you? I wasn't saying anything. No, you just said, you just said. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say no, nothing about I, you. I'm just saying. You said we all. So if if I'm uh, included in the we all, I have to respond and say that's my my reason. So going uh, back to you, okay. Why what? Three sides. Yeah. Three sides. Yeah. Three sides. All right, bro. Yeah. Go ahead, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead. Say your piece. Say your piece. No, no. I'm not. I don't, I don't want to interject in your story. I was just responding to you when you said we all. <laughs> I, right. My experience was not about that, so I don't want to be included in that. We all, all so right. go ahead. <laughs> Jeff's ego is still intact. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, no. So I, I had to to really go through the what they call the dark night of the soul, in a sense, right? Like you, yeah, you feel it to your core, and okay. really, when when someone walks out of your life, that like you said, you see. Yeah. Maybe a longer term potential with, even though I didn't mm-hmm. think I was probably going to marry this person, but I still. It's like, what if, that what if thing? It, and you know what I think a lot of people struggle with and, and why there's so much trauma involved in, in losing somebody that you care about mm-hmm. is because we get into this whole, you know, rhythm yep. of, yeah. of just like comfortability where it's like, hey, it, now you are a part of my life yep. in a way that's like, much more than than like mm-hmm. just like surface level yeah right yeah it's deeper than that it becomes like what, it, 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 you, you it, see what i'm saying like, i see what you're saying like, like basically habit, literally habit like, like being, be, being together mm-hmm. like having your best friend there yeah it becomes like habitual yeah right yeah so when that habit is gone like everyone is uncomfortable when you when you have to break a habit mm-hmm. yeah you know what i mean yeah. So yeah. it becomes a, a partially part of your identity. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. That's and then it. when that person's gone, like, you lose yourself. And yep. you have to re you have to reestablish yeah. your yeah. identity. You got to get your, yeah, and that's, get your mojo back. Yeah. But that's why it's so important. Mm-hmm. I think for everybody to go through that heartbreak. No. Like think about, yeah. think about what you have now because of yeah. more knowledge. Heartbreak. I'm more confident. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. It, yeah. it and, and yeah. essentially just to wrap it up, that's what happened with me. I got yeah. to that point where it's like, literally feeling like worthless almost like maybe i am not everything i thought i was oh you see what i'm saying and then you have to rebuild your confidence so it's the best thing ever you you break it down and then you have to rebuild it yep and you rebuild it with like lessons learned yep right yep so how long was that relationship that relationship was probably it was off and on for like probably three years why off and on well, towards the back end, with uh, like, oh, you have you haven't experienced this yet. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm assuming so. laughs> when you get into a, a certain point in a relationship, if it's not gonna work, and you're doing what you said before, where it's like, hey, like there are things about them that I like, and you're trying to like force it through. Mm-hmm. There's always it goes back, it goes away. Like you're, it's like a yo-yo. Oh yeah, I kind of yo-yo with this one a little bit. I yeah. With the last, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. We all have breakups, but the story of, of it, that's what makes the my podcast. The connection. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, like you said in the beginning. Yeah. It's really the connection. Yeah. The connecting yeah. factor. Because most people, when you allow yourself to go through that, to take the risk, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Involved in like trying to make something work with another person. So what's the most common reason people break up? Oh, given- cheating. A lot of cheating. Yeah? <laughs> uh, cheating. On your podcast per se? Yeah, cheating. Really? Yeah. Like, who, oh, che- yeah. who cheats more? Men. The men. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or the men would tell a story about getting cheated on or, or they cheated. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of cheating. 
Wait, wait, wait. The men will tell a story about cheating or getting cheated on. Well, I have some that told stories about them cheating on their partner, not getting caught. Right. But then they partner cheated back on him. And I see. They took it okay. hard. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah. But most, but most of the stories of the men cheating. A lot of them. A lot of them. Okay. So what's? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of people. Some people died. Some people. It's, it's, oh man, yeah, it's a lot help. of things, man. Yeah. No. Okay. So if the reasons, so the men that are that cheat, yeah, are they the ones getting left, getting broken up with? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So hmm. are there men that cheat and they leave their relationship? I don't remember. Nah, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. so yeah. are so what's the reason that the men typically leave? Relationships. They leave. Oh, because the the woman is just either not not getting her stuff together or, or priorities are all messed up, uh, and cheating. That, that is basically what it is. The, the women are just stepping out, finding someone else, and yeah, and the guys finding out, trying to make it work, and it just doesn't work. But the cheating doesn't wow. happen as often as with men. No, wait, them finding out their partner is cheating. No, what I'm saying is like uh, the so reason the women the, are leaving. The reason for the breakup, yeah, is so. What you're saying, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, is that men definitely cheat more. They might the not re- even get caught, but they're they're telling you in their stories yeah, that they're cheating. So you're seeing yeah, that men up. are cheating more, yeah, based yeah. on the stories that women might be telling you about. Oh yeah, he cheated, or men just saying yeah, I cheated. Women come on and they basically their partner cheated on them. So that's the men cheating. Men cheating. And then men come on podcast say yeah, I did some, I did some, I did my thing. See and, did, and sometimes but they didn't even get yeah, caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know, but the reason why the men leave is because sometimes the the women always leaves the leave the men because they got caught doing something or they just right. wasn't up to. But the guys was, that break up with the women, I don't have I, I don't have that many of those. You don't have, yeah. Really, huh? Nah. That's interesting. That is yeah. really interesting. So or if that, they do leave, it's because they partner cheated on them. Other line of question. But other than that. They don't so really guys, see that's that's yeah. what's interesting about have many that. men, right? Like, I think for a lot of okay, you hate when I give generalizations, but I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> well, just say from my perspective, and it changes everything. I always say it's from my perspective. <laughs> the show is literally called Introspect. Yeah. It is from my perspective. Go ahead, go ahead. So, like, men for them to leave a relationship, like. It will take a lot. Yeah. Like men aren't triggered and, 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 and put off by little nuances as much as. It has to keep happening. That's what I mean. Yeah, it yeah, takes yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He might get annoyed about something. Right. Yeah. But he's not going to leave because he's not. Obviously she cheats. He's like, nah, she's trash. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But like, whereas for a woman, do you find women that break up over simple stuff? No, they they take a lot of they take they take some hits. Or are they only talking about the relationships where they took hits? Yeah, the most traumatic ones. So okay, they, then, they take a lot of hits. Yeah. Don't have yeah. Also, you're prefacing it. You said in the beginning, yeah. you asked them about the craziest wild yeah. story. Yeah, yeah, that changes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so of course the story, they're gonna take yeah. a lot of wild, bumps and bruises, yeah. and then after that they're like, really oh yeah, nobody else gets a chance because I already. So I asked one girl. I was like, she stayed with a guy that was in jail. I was like, would you ever take another bid from another? She's like, I would never because that was terrible. I was mm. going take to Take another visit. what? Like if some if Being her new boyfriend went to jail, would she ever oh. do the bid with him? She, no. She was like, nah, I would never because going to the jail, the getting getting searched, the, the whole process, it, it was yeah, traumatic for her. Yeah. Yeah. I can so, imagine. Yeah. So, so, so like obviously you are well positioned, I think, to give – Really good advice. I try to not people. to because I'm like I'm not. I was gonna say this, no, but dude. To, I was literally no, gonna literally. Go you're like very well positioned to yeah. give advice to people who might be going through mm-hmm. heartbreak right now. Yeah, like yeah. What, oh, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. What advice sure. would you give to, or what would you say to like maybe there's some of our viewers out there listening? Oh, right definitely Tom through. Hills. Tom Hills. You may think it's like the worst thing in the world, like you're going through something, but give yourself time. Just put your phone down. Don't get on Instagram because that mm. that could trigger you. Uh, don't get on social media. Uh, just just taking time to yourself. If you have a hobby, focus on that hobby. Just just stuff like that. Just just putting focus on yourself outside of the the, the madness. So essentially, yeah. just work on your own personal evolution. Yeah, yeah. When you're going through it, jot and, down and some of the things that that went wrong in your relationship. Right. Like focus on just just rebuilding yourself. 
I will say that. When you hear so many traumatic stories, you don't mm-hmm. ever feel like I have to take a break sometimes. That's what I'm Yo. saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like don't, it's kind of like like you're you're the hearing therapist. so you're Literally. hearing you're, you're hearing so much trauma. Does that not like deter you a little bit or make you feel a little jaded by hearing so many mm. negative nah, situations? Nah. Cause I know it happened in the past. I know it's no, nah, I don't. I don't. It don't hit me that way. I'm just. It hits me where like uh, the person going through that much pain, mm. and they stayed in it, and they stayed in it. It's like, dang, like yeah. I feel sorry for the person, so I have to take a break and mental, a mental break for myself, and like. And you know yeah. what? That was actually a great question, and like to add to it, just to kind of mm-hmm. feel where you you're kind of at with that. Like, do you think that? And I'm trying to figure out the right way to ask this. Yeah. Do you think that most of the people you speak with mm-hmm. have grown from the experience? Most, majority of them, yeah. At, How do you know that? Do they tell you? Or? No, it's just you can see where they at today. Like, I asked them where they you at. follow through? No, no, no. I have a structure. My structure is like the relationship part, uh, the coping, healing part, and then where they at today. It, some you, of them are married. You see where, them, I'm, where I'm going with yeah, it, though? Yeah, because yeah. if you're still toxic and you yeah. haven't grown and you're on there right. given your perspective and your mm-hmm. thought. That doesn't really... But then it comes when they, I ask them, so what's some advice you would give to somebody going through a heartbreak? Okay, or awesome. And so you ask that question. The answer to that, you'd be like, all right, you still kind of kind of toxic. It tells yeah, you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. They'd be like, yeah, point. to get over one, you That's get to good. deal with the next one. That's yeah. good. That's you'd be like, nah, man. Like, yeah. I love so, that. That's kind of wild. But like, do you feel like you're also in a position to give relationship advice as a whole? Not just like how to get over... pitch stuff? Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, nah. Because everybody's different. Okay. So I'm working on my um, empathy. Right. So for someone going through like some type of pain stuff, I might brush it off. Mm. But they might take it totally like hard. Okay. So let's say they had an ex that screamed on them all the time. I might take it as, oh, this person want me to do better. Mm. So they scream on me. But they may take it as, yeah, this person was very aggressive and very rah, 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 rah. Yeah. So I can't really, because I'm the type of person that kind of lack empathy. Mm. So I'm trying to work on that. Like empathy, like sometimes I, I I don't feel the way like somebody may tell me they went they 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 went through one of the worst breakups of their life and I'm like oh okay like just like that uh-huh. mm-hmm. they were like they look at me funny sometimes but other times it hits you like no, no 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 some I have to work on like my empathy of I ask some questions about certain things and it's like hey why would you ask me that I, I'm I was suffering during that time why would you ask? I, I can't get a question up. I can't think of anything right now, but yeah. when I'm listening back, it's like, damn, I could have been more empathetic right. when talking to them. And I, yeah, mm. and I mess up. So I can't really give advice because I take it in differently from. Well, that's, I mean, again, I, I can say, be- I can say certain things, but. But it begs the question. So were you lacking empathy m- more, be- like. Way more before. Before, yeah. So before yeah. you were lacking empathy. Badly, yeah, yeah. Versus now. And even in my situations with, with people, mm. like little arguments will happen and now it's just, I lack like, empathy. But I don't know where it comes from. And so now I'm working on it where I know I, this is like a childhood trauma. Mm. That are, this, this is probably why. So you are, la- oh, you're, yeah. so oh, yeah. Yeah. that's, that's actually. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're, you're gaining more empathy through the, your podcast. Yeah, I have to, you have to think sometimes when I'm talking to people, I have to like think about what they're saying, take it in before I used to just blurt out things. Wow. So, I used to be and, like, and you're yeah. saying like beca- because of the uh, just to be crystal clear, because of this podcast experience, yeah, it helped me out. It helped yeah, you to yeah. see because I'm listening to back when I edit. I'm listening back to the whole episode. Huh. And I'm like, oh yeah, I could have I could have said that differently. Yeah. That's could've actually worded that really powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really so helped me. That's and then, wild. But and then you the, said- the woman I'm coming across, they say the same thing, and I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm working on it. <laughs> Coming across when you're dating? Yeah. So what's dating like for you now? Yeah. Um, it's hard. It's hard. Like your thirties, everybody has their own traumas and stuff like that. He's still working through. Mm-hmm. So you're meeting people that's kind of still healing from old stuff. Okay. And it's bad. It's bad out here. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, but do you feel like okay, as bad as it is, yeah. Do you feel as though you have a leg up given what you do in your podcast? Mm, kinda. But then when I'm telling these women what I do, they feel like they're on an interview when I'm talking to them. Mm. Yeah, but and is I that hate because, that. Yeah, but is that because you're interviewing? No, I'm just asking questions. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's that's no, 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 no. I'm asking normal <laughs> questions. 
normal questions that's outside of like what I do in the podcast, and they feel like they're being interviewed because I told them I'm a, a podcaster, and I hate that. They be like, "Yo, I'm not in your podcast." Da, 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 da. So yeah, just with my dating life, people, I mean, women just feel like I'm be, nah, I'm interviewing them, and it, yeah. it's an ongoing thing. But um, just doing the podcast, I know what I want in, in my relationships. Before it used to be like, "Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she has this quality. Oh, she's funny." I actually just take them in. Mm. Now I'm in my thirties. Yeah, I can't waste no time. I'm yeah. like, I want to start a family. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, so, but yeah. yeah, but doesn't that also make it harder though? If you think about it, What's right? That? Like, you might have a better idea of what you want. Yeah. But do you feel that the amount that you learn about yourself through those conversations with other people mm-hmm. make less make more make people less qualified to be with you? Nah, nah. Because I know what I, I know what I like. I know what I want. So once I see it, so I can have a conversation with a woman, and she'll bring out, she'll just say certain things. I'm like, I get, I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to get to know this person more. Yeah. So mm-hmm. as I'm getting to know them, the qualities come out, and I'm like, yeah. all right, I can mess with you. I know, but yeah. the people you say oh, I can mess with you is that far few in between? Of what? What people I'm interviewing? No, dating. Oh, people, dating. Yeah, people that qualify to yeah. be with you. Yeah. You saying you I, you I, I could rock with this, is that quantity of people shrinking? Yes, that's my Definitely. point. Yes, because yes. It's, that's it's, my it's point. That specific. Because yeah. had you not known what you wanted, you probably would have. I would have took anything. That's my yeah. saying. So people are less qua- certain. Uh, the volume of po- the people you meet yeah. in general are less qualified to be with you yeah. when you know more of what you want. Right, right. Which is a good thing, though. It's I'm not saying it's a yeah, bad you thing. You start to filter out your time. Really, you're not wasting your time. Yeah. With now, if I was in my twenties, yeah, I'll be dating. I'll be, yeah, yeah. I'll be, but now I'm like I'm 34, so I'm like, all right, I want to start a family. I want to work on these things to to, to get build to the next level. Yeah, yeah, get to the next level. And the woman I'm coming across is not. Yeah, they, you think it's that New York thing? I was just yeah, gonna. Yeah, we say number two. That. Hey, man, I think listen, we, that's, that's why hardest that's place why to we, date. Uh, yeah, say <laughs> number two after LA. Yeah, yeah. Huh. LA, yeah, number two. Uh, LA is horrible. Yeah, LA is horrible. New York is right after that. Really? Yeah. What's wrong with LA? It's, it's too many women and less men. So they, the men are looking like, like, Yo, why would I get into a relationship? All these beautiful women are here. Right. Wait. <laughs> hold on. I don't if you go, if you go to LA, you're gonna see a lot of beautiful women. LA's wild. No, there's a lot of them. I've never been so. to LA, but I've oh, met man. women from. You've never LA. been to LA. No. Oh man, we gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go. I'm taking the podcast on. <laughs> not just for, obviously not for the. <laughs> yeah. Just for just for the, just for the LA's dope. Just so for, it's dope. like just dope. Oh, it's dope. Man. So, go there. I know, I know, I know. There's beautiful women in LA. Yeah. I've met them. I've dated women who were from California, yeah. in the West Coast. I know, I know what's out there. Just, yeah. I just, I've just never been it's out a there lot to of see them. Less of men. So men are like, no, I'm not getting in a relationship with one, two, three, four, five girls I could be with. It, like throughout the week. So. Yeah, but that's that's like that's Atlanta. Uh, nah, not really. Really, the vibe. You, the is the so women, different. the women it's are different. different vibe, yeah, 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 yeah. Different. So, how? What do you mean? It's just, it's just a different vibe. I, yeah, I can't they, explain it. In LA, the women are more like superficial. It's w- it's, it's way like more of a stars. scene. It's yeah, a scene yeah. city. Yes, yes, it's a scene city. Yes, it's a scene city. In you Atlanta, like they're more down to earth. <laughs> they take care of you, so you can get in a relationship over there. It's a scene city. It's just okay. Yeah. Okay, but in New York, because I it's live in New York, hard, it's hard out here. You got a lot of transplants coming from yeah. all over. Those are the ones you probably want to be with. But the ones that that live here. It's, they're so used to a certain type of guy, and then you bring them something different. It's yeah. like, nah, you're too good to be true. I'm going to mess this up. Bro, <laughs> let's talk about it. Hold up. <laughs> so, see, that's, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Right? Because a lot of the people that go through like relationship traumas probably are repeat offenders. Yeah, right. Oh, right. definitely. Right? Right. Definitely. So, when you hear these stories, do you ever dig? Into the person's past to see how much of this they've, yeah, like that's reoccurred that yeah. they're contributing to. Yeah, yeah, mm. all, all the time, like almost every episode. Every episode like, is a is, repeat. No, not a repeat, but certain things come up, and I'm and I ask certain questions, and be like, oh, so you did this in the past, and they're like, mm-hmm. yeah, and that's it's just yeah. Certain people I ask because it'll come up, and it's like, all right, why is this an ongoing thing? Mm. Why are so, you just cheating on your your past, I mean, your, your last dude to get to a new person, and then you cheat on that person to get to a new person. It's right. like... Oh, you've seen that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damn. 
It's yeah. wild. Yeah. Were they were they from New York? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. I gotta leave. I gotta leave New York. <laughs> yeah. I gotta. So leave New York. get you a transplant. Somebody that came from yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. That's the yeah. best way. That's that's what I'm noticing. That's crazy to that me. Is, that's really wild, actually. Lama, this conversation was yeah, man. We need a part two, right? <laughs> no, we definitely need a part Yo. two. Uh, this this was great. Like I'm, I had a lot of fun with this yeah, because man. I I just think getting a window. I think what you're doing is phenomenal in a lot of thank ways. You, I think you. in one part, it's entertaining, just downright yeah, entertaining, Straight up. and it's like it's like storytelling. Yeah, right. Um, but at the same time, I think it's very useful in so many different angles to yeah. yourself. Yeah, to the people that you're interviewing and also to people who are listening right. who are going through a breakup or who's gone through breakups or who's he- trying to heal yeah. through past situations for you to basically give people some form of uh what's the word like collective community yeah right. yeah you know what i mean of heartbreak i think that's it's right. a phenomenal thing and, and people are not that are not familiar with just what's going on outside it helps them as well yeah like i have a friend that has been married for a long time so he never did it like that Prior to his marriage, oh, wow. so he's listening to these episodes like, man, it's terrible out here. Yeah, this is what people go through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so did, did has it turned out to be what you yes. kind of hoped it would yeah. be? Everything That's I wrote awesome. down is everything that you hear on the podcast. From I love the intro, that. yeah, from the intro that. to the end. Like I asked three questions at the end. My intro is in real time. Like everything I wrote down. Yeah. Wow. That's that is it just kept. That's what's up. Like when I thought of the podcast, it just kept. It was flowing. Everything was just flowing. So where yeah. do you see it going? And like, what, oh, what's TV? the ultimate goal? Uh, I want to get into reenactments of every episode. Love oh, I want to get into uh, that's, outside that series. So it's called Views of an X. I yeah. want to focus on the X part. So I have certain episodes where I spoke to an ex-NFL player. Yeah. And my nephew was on it. He was an ex-convict. And like, I want to get into the X word. So mm. ex-drug dealers, ex-murderers, uh, like stuff like that. Murders. So oh, yeah, the that's concept a, to keep going. Yo, yeah, that's, so it's views of an X. Hey, anything l- like we said, tune in. <laughs> views of an X. You can, we, uh, people can find you on every, yeah, all, yeah. every so all streaming platform. iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, not Apple Music, Apple Podcast app. Uh, yeah, it's almost everywhere except for SoundCloud. I have put it on. And and uh, people can find you on social media yes. and, and uh, how do people at connect? Llama Bean, L A M A B A N. Uh, at views of an X, and um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm everywhere. That's oh, awesome, yeah, man. man. Thank you for having me Yo, on. We Thank really you. appreciate you, Paul. Yeah, yeah this is an awesome conversation. Man. We yeah, could we could have sure. gone we could have gone, gone, gone for like another hour. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, yeah. Because I, I was just like, yo, if I ask this question, we're gonna go on a crazy right, tangent. right, right. So, Michael Andrew, tell people your your handles. Yeah, yeah. man. Um, you can find me on all social media platforms, Michelangelo dot Garland. Um, and yeah, if you, you guys want to reach out to the show, send us uh, you know an email about maybe an idea, or you just want to give us feedback. The introspect room at gmail.com. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for pulling up again, man. Llama, man. Thank really, you, man. really, really thank appreciate you, you coming good. in. This is one of my favorite interviews. This is, this is good. Yeah. Appreciate oh, it. Yeah. If that. you guys want to find me, um, IG is uh, J dot D A M I S S E. Um, that's the same for Clubhouse, for Twitter. It's uh, J underscore D A M I S S E. And yeah, and also follow us on um, on IG for the Introspect Room. It's at the Introspect Room. That's for everything. That's for Facebook. That's for Twitter. Y- you name it, right? The that's Introspect dope. Room. This that's was phenomenal, sure, man. man. Yeah. Thank Listen, you, man. Thank you. We want to have you back. We want to have you back. <laughs> yeah, more. Let me know. We want to have a part two. We want to. Yeah. We want to do this whole thing, and you know, we'll, we'll get Michelangelo to go on <laughs> your podcast, yeah. so he I, can. I, I, I have like two. five questions huh? for him. Just, <laughs> yo, yo, I got stories, but I don't know if I'm ready to tell it all because. Some of them are uh, kind of ratchet. I, I buried, uh, <laughs> I buried, I buried that listen, part of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for sharing this uh, this time with us. Until next time, hey. adios. Hey.